So today we're going to get started in setting up our Python environment on Google Cloud through their Cloud Functions feature. Now, I know it might seem like Google Cloud has all these features and all these tools and maybe it feels a little bit overwhelming, but don't worry about that. I'm making all my tutorials to be as beginner friendly as possible. So I'm going to be making these videos at bite-sized chunks. That is, these all these tutorials, if we cover something new, it's going to be a quick tutorial so that you can get past these steps. You can get it set up on your own, even if you only have a few minutes of your day so that you can get started on this project. So we're going to start on our homepage. This is just cloud.google.com. And this is just the main menu for your Google Cloud platform. And from here, you're just going to go here to the search bar and you're going to look for for cloud functions. So you see this menu, event-driven serverless functions, that's what you're gonna select. So let's go to this page. Now from here, right here, you can see that I have the option to create a function, but if you haven't started your free trial, it is gonna ask you to start with your $300 free trial. Now Google is really pushing this technology, so they do give you up to $300 in credits for this. So you just need to input a payment method. You don't have to pay anything up front. You're gonna have access to all the features right off the bat. So once you confirm that, you're going to be able to go down here and select create function. So that's what we're going to select. And this is where you start your configuration for your serverless function. Now for this part, we're just going to go down here for trigger type. We're going to select cloud pub sub since we are using another Google cloud service. That is the Gmail API. Then here's going to ask you for the topic. You don't have any at the time. So just go ahead and create a topic. You can call the topic, whatever you want. Let's just call it email dash one and I believe we're going to leave these blank and then just click create. So once that's created, make sure you do have trigger type selected cloud pub sub and make sure you do select the topic they just created in case, you know, for some reason it's blank after you create it. And from here, you're going to go ahead and click grant all after you click grant all right here at the bottom left corner, you're going to go ahead and click next. And here, if there's some APIs, it's asking you to enable. Let's just go ahead and click enable. And once you click that, you'll be taken to this page, which is where we'll be editing the Python code that is going to ultimately run our Core AI project. As you can see right here in runtime, this is where you can select the programming language that you're going to be using for your project. And this is basically where the code is going to go and where your files are going to go for your project. So since we are using Python, let's go ahead and select Python here in the programming language. We want to use the most recent version. So let's just put Python 3.12. And then we're just going to click test function. And as you can see down here, it's running the test and downloading all the dependencies it, it needs. Again, none of this is running on your computer. This is running on Google's servers. That is, you know, it's basically running on Google's computers and their technology. And the reason why it's called serverless is because you don't have to go through any of the trouble of setting up the servers yourselves in order to be able to run this. Now, when this finishes uploading, you'll see this message that says function is ready to test. So we can go ahead and click run test right here. And I know it's just a simple hello world, but this just shows that the connection was set properly and that we're getting the response that's expected from this sample program. So as we move forward with these tutorials, we're going to be covering how to connect the Gmail API to our Core AI project. We're also going to work towards deploying our Core AI project on this environment. Again, the point of this is to get you to a place where if you do have a crew that you want to use for maybe your business or maybe for some customers that you want to give access to your crew, you don't want to have your crew deployed on your desktop, on your local environment. And depending on how complex your business needs are, you really don't have to go through the trouble of setting up servers, setting up hosting, when something as clear cut as Google Cloud projects might be able to just do it for you through their APIs as well as their serverless functions. I know for a lot of you, covering this stuff was very new, so that's what we're going to stop today. And if this is the first video you're seeing in the series, I do recommend you go watch the previous ones just so you can get up to pace to what we've done so far. And that includes understanding the project and what we're trying to do with it. And again, I always do feel the need to share my gratitude for all of you that comment, like, and watch my videos. Some of the feedback that I've gotten, even on the one-on-ones or even in just the comments or messages are really helpful to me. And I'm glad that a lot of you are finding this helpful. I'm trying my best to make these tutorials as beginner-friendly as possible, even if you don't have any programming experience, even if this is the first time you've seen any of these technologies, especially in the AI field. Again, if you have more specific questions about how you can use AI for your business, Business or just the way that you're trying to learn it, or maybe you're just having a little bit too much trouble with these setups, I have a Calendly link below with a schedule where you can set one-on-one -on -one time with me for free. And basically we just hop on a video call, any questions you have about AI or just setting up your project, I'm more than happy to help. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.